What's up guys, Samara Gamer here, and welcome back to City Skylines. And today, oh, today I'm looking forward to this one because this is going to be the first part of our two-part special for ending off City Skylines Season 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and completely collapse the city. So the plan is, is that I want to push the city to the limit where... It just completely crumbles, so no more, like, we pretty much want to make our 65,000 residents pissed off that much, they all leave. That's the plan. That's how bad we want to make it. So, I'm not entirely sure how well we're going to do it, but I know exactly where we're going to start. The simple thing to make them all go away, uh, which I could do in a quick second, is just turning off all power and water, and they'll all go away. We don't want to do that just yet. That's kind of going to be our, like our final boot to them, like the final kick out the door. Uh, but the thing that we're going to do is we're going to go here and actually no let's go policies so we're going to put in a pet ban to annoy people so that's going to make a few people annoyed um we're going to put in a smoking ban as well um just to get people a bit more angry we don't want any tax relief or anything put a heavy traffic ban and that's going to annoy a lot of people. Um, because that's going to block up a lot of the businesses. So now we can close that. And now let's go into here. And we're going to ray... Okay. We're going to grab commercial. Supporting it. We're going to grab this. And we're going to chuck it up to 29% for all commercial. And all officers. And let's just see what happens. And let's set this into fast forward mode. And let's see how many people we can piss off. So with this going on, how many... What's the population looking at? Two. It's still going okay. How, actually, let's have a look at the traffic since I put the heavy traffic ban. Um, where is it? Traffic. So there's still big heavy traffic bans in a lot of these areas. But um, a lot of these places are going to get very frustrated very quickly. So the numbers are still like we're earning a lot of money now because look look at the taxation that we put. But that's not too oh oh what what's this? What are they complaining about? What what is this um, percentage thing? Not enough goods to sell. Which buildings have that percentage thing? Oh, tax is too high. Okay, so that's what you're complaining about. Okay, no worries. All right, so there we go. That's what we like to see. We want to see that tax is too high for these people. We want to see it completely crumble, and we don't want to see them returning anytime soon. The number is slowly going down, which is okay. But um, what we're going to do, I really, what I want to do is just have all these buildings go abandoned. Unfortunately, the game, I can't get it go any faster, so we kind of just have to wait um, but how else can we do this? I'm just trying to think. Can we shut down services? Oh, budget. Ooh, here we go. We can shut down some services as well. So, let's shut down... Oh, we're not spending any money on buses. So we can lower the budget. Let's lower the budget for all transport. Just to annoy them. And then... Let's lower the budget. Let's lower the budget for all this stuff but power and electricity. And let's just see how far we can push these guys. So we'll keep that there, alright? And I'm okay with that. So let's let's do that. So look at our income. We're earning 94,000. So we're going to earn a lot of money. We almost could place one of the monuments that we've unlocked uh, as well. So that's good. Let's have a look at... So power is still pretty good. Water, I don't think so we have to worry about. Uh, garbage, how's garbage? Garbage coverage is get, is not as high anymore since the uh, power to the people. How hard is to build work power grid? So there's an area that's not getting power at the moment. Um, that's probably, oh, that's probably like these guys maybe over here or something. I don't know. Or it could be these people down here. 
Uh, supporting oil industry, yes, we are supporting the oil industry. But as you can see, garbage is going to turn into a big factor. It's a big city, so a lot of these guys are going to pack up and leave pretty quickly since the coverage isn't as good. Uh, incineration status, we don't have enough incinerators to fill up the power. Let's have a look at medical. Medical, see, it's not like when it was at 100% compared to that 50 uh, every road was green, so now there's big plotches, um, or like, uh, where they're not getting any medical help whatsoever. You can look at hospitals, look at cremation, see, so we're going to get back up at their bodies soon. Let's have a look at fire, so we have massive risks of fire now, uh, because of this, um, the budget cuts. Let's have a look at fire department, or not fire, uh, police department. Police coverage is still pretty good. Uh, everyone's still blue, but it would be nice to see this start to change into some oranges and yellows um, when uh, the city starts to go um, kind of in bad. Like, the thing is that we're doing all this negative stuff at the moment, but the city, the city isn't going negative. Like, we're still earning a lot of money, which is expectable because all the taxes we're doing. But the number of citizens is still going up, which is surprising me, actually. So we're going to have to push this a tiny bit further. What can we do to annoy these people. Uh, if we really want to... Okay, let's let's up the industry percentage. So let's do that. We'll keep... We'll keep... Um, residential people... Um, happy for the moment. We're trying to keep residential. But we'll up the percentage for... Taxes for... Uh, the, uh, industrial. Because... Um, we've got two big industrial areas. We've got one over here... And then we've got this big area here. So you have normal industrial. Then you have these guys. These guys would be like, tax are too high, tax are too high. There's going to be no more jobs available. What the hell was that noise? That was weird. I don't know what that noise was. That could have just me. Could have been me zooming in, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what is... Okay, so all these guys are complaining. They've got too heavy taxes. They can't survive. The bitching and moaning. What else are you complaining about? Uh, two, two fee services. Um, I have, I guess that's due to all the service cuts that I've done. So that's still, but still the population, the number is still going up. Um, which is surprising me and I kind of can't push these guys to the limits. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to start, oh, what are you guys, oh, what are you guys saying? Low land value. Okay, so these guys are getting annoyed. Okay, well, I'll give you something else to complain about. What we're going to do is I'm going to raise the prices of all Isle de Selford. And this is where we're going to earn. Maybe not earn money, but this is where we're going to really push the city to the limit. So, the number, the number is down to 56. Who should I call if no one shows up to pick up the dead? Okay, so the dead are starting to pile up now. But we're still in that positive. Oh, there we go. We're dipped into that negative now. We're on that border. So that's good. That's interesting. Let's see how far we can really push this. these guys. Um, I want this to go fast forward. What? Oh, this was city information. Oh, this is... I never actually used this button. That's actually quite interesting. I, I kind of took me to kind of like the final end to realize <laughs> that button was actually something. Um, so, we've got a lot of adults, mainly. Not too many children, personally. Decent amount of elderly. Uh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, Alright. I think we need to push it further now. We need to just go here and let's just chuck this up as well so this is going to annoy everyone in the entire area and what we're going to do we're not going to do but uh, water and electricity just yet we're just gonna put oh there goes the numbers look at that negative thou oh there we go we've annoyed them now <laughs> yep the majority of people are in this area like actually to be honest majority of people are in this area but if you look at this this area is the... Wow, that's really, really ticked them off, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is going to go quick now, I think, since we've done that. Because, yep, we're losing uh, people after people. We have more and more abandoned houses are coming in now. This is where it's going to start picking up. Um, I didn't really want them to go this quickly. Um, what is this symbol down here? Uh, no more room. <laughs> Yep, everyone's just killing each other, everyone's getting angry. 
we're going to lose all our population very, very quickly. You know what? Let's let's just do this all in one episode. Instead of having two episodes, this, this is going to be a one episode uh, day because it seems like the number is going down very, very quickly. So let's let's just go into number one speed instead of going three times speed. And just to annoy them all, we're going to do water and electricity cuts. And there we go. So now... <laughs> We're pretty much going to lose. Wow, look, look at that number in that bottom corner. That is insane. It doesn't take long to piss off your residents. And that number is going to go down really quickly. I could put it in fast forward, but I wouldn't mind it going a tiny bit slow. Because I'm interested to see how this goes. So, electricity, even though I've turned it down to 50%, we actually can still power the city. Um... Some of these people, though, are still complaining. Oh, wait, what did I just place? Oh, I just placed some cables. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So these guys complaining about taxes. Is that crime activity? Oh, okay, let's have a look at the crime rate because we haven't had to see the crime actually involve at all in the city now. And these people are complaining about some crime happening. So that's good to see. So we've gone from a, a city of 60, about 67 or so thousand people. We're down to 17,000. We're losing a lot of people very quickly. I wonder if we, it could easily be turned around and turned back into a positive. But it's pretty much going to turn every one of these buildings into, uh, into a negative. Oh, into a banded building eventually. So we still have a decent amount of people still in the city now oh now we're losing negative money because the number of people in here we're actually now gonna lose our cash so that's interesting to see so let's go into fast forward now and let's see what else can happen is there anything else that we can shut off um so we got those we got taxes all the way up budget Loans, don't want to take loans, don't really need them to be honest. Uh, electricity, we're still good, we're still good on all those things. Now, losing a lot of stuff, the population is about to go to zero. We're very, very close to going to zero population. We've only got a few people left. Let's have a look at this. Let's hit this here. So, how many people actually left? You know, we've only got. <laughs> 700 and so people left in this city. It's incredible how quickly it's taken us. It really was when we put up the rate of um, normal living. A set of high-rise normal living. Uh, it's incredible to see how quickly we're able to make this entire town crumble. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised we're still getting planes fly in. Uh, normally I'd think we'd deter people off. We're getting crime at the airport as well. We've got 289 people still living in the city. We're very close to having zero residents whatsoever. This town is going to be turned into a complete ghost town. And that's the only reason why we're going to have tourists come in and out of the city is to see what the hell went wrong. So, wow. This is just like, and look at the build Because, yeah, you get the abandoned building looks. So, all these buildings just... Wow. It's like completely dead. Uh, we've only got 108 people or so living in here. I wonder, do we still have a bad traffic? <laughs> or, no, we fixed the roads, people. We knew, we figured out how to fix the roads. Just eliminate 60-odd thousand people in your city. We've got 82 residents left. We've still got over 2 million. Um, you know what? The game's lagging quite a lot. But before we run out of money, let's place this down, just for the hell of it. Because, why not? <laughs> so there we go. And that's actually a little achievement for the game as well. It's going to make us lose our money much, much more fast. And then there's no way of uh, coming back. Because even with $2 million, you probably could bounce back a tiny bit. It would be hard, but you could almost bounce back. But now when you zoom in, everything is like abandoned buildings. There's no more people on the streets. We've got 84 people. We've got some numbers coming back in now, which is very surprising. I don't really know why you would want to live here. But we've got a massive city for a couple of, probably a couple of hundred people eventually. But um, it, I'm very surprised that it didn't take that much to completely crumble a city. 
But anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it here. This is going to be the end of City Skylines. I was going to do this as a two-part thing, but I thought it would take a bit longer to crumble the city. Um, but I'm kind of happy it took one episode because it makes this one a bit more entertaining instead of pr uh, prolonged over two episodes. But um, I do admit I've enjoyed the series. It's kind of the first time I've recorded a... Um, si uh, it's not a simulation game, like, because we did... Um, Prison Architect, but my first city building simulation game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I do quite enjoy it. They are a bit tedious, um, and there are a lot of moments where you're kind of just sitting down. Oh, bankruptcy alert. Hello, hello. What do we got going on? The city is in uh, brink of bankruptcy. You must cut services by shutting them down and raise taxes to gain more income. You can also take a loan. Uh, bailout option. If, uh, if the above measurements are not enough, you can take a bailout. Um, city note the bailout disables further achievements so amount well 50,000 isn't gonna save me because I'm in big negatives I'm just gonna reject it you know what we're gonna just wait until we hit bankruptcy because I think it's gonna, it's gonna just get worse and worse but um even with all the taxes up <laughs> But we don't have the people to give the taxes, I guess. But, um, yeah, like, I have really enjoyed uh, City Skylines. It is a great game. Um, it was actually better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it wasn't going to be as uh, as fun as uh, as has been. Uh, the series probably went on longer than I wanted to do wanted to go, I do admit, because uh, there were kind of some episodes where we are kind of just twiddling our thumbs. And as I said, that's kind of like the downside to recording City Simulator games is that there is a bit of down like downside to it all um but yeah no i really did enjoy recording it and i'm glad that uh you guys did as well i don't know if i'm gonna do another city simulator game there are a few others out there that um do and have piqued my interest uh that i'm debating about doing in the future but uh we'll just have to guess and wait and see i do have a few other things lined up uh since this series has finished before i go away to america since i'm going away to america very soon uh next Wait, is it next week or the week after? I can't remember. Um, but pretty much, you know, I don't, I don't want to be bailed out. I want this city to burn. Um, I pretty much, uh, I'll find another game to replace this series uh, in the whilst I go away, I guess. And uh, so I have to do a whole bunch of bulk recording for that. So I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but um, it's going to be probably something completely different. So. Um, I'm looking forward to trying to sit down and decide what the next game's going to be. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode and for this series. So as usual, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and the series, and I will see you all another day. So catch you later, guys.